Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. As Black Americans, we are always placed into this people of color box or included with black and brown. The politicians never want to just say black or what they're going to do for black people. It's always black and brown as if we're some type of people of color coalition we all have each other's back and it's a kumbaya but we know that that's not the case there, there have been far too many instances of latino immigrants coming here and specifically going against especially in la uh, actively going out of their way to hurt the black people that are there to get them out of their neighborhood i know there's a big case where the, the home was firebombed they shot at some of the residents there they didn't want to live with black people so we know that it's a farce but yet we still have to continue under that umbrella of people of color and black and brown well, this Mexican man, shout out to him, whoever he is, he is spilling the truth about their cultural racism and where they may have got it from, which really doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that they are inherently racist based on what he's saying as a Mexican man. So I'm going to play that video and then I'll follow up with some more commentary. That Mexicans are culturally racist. They think that... I'm calling us openly racist. We are culturally racist, and this is how. Part of our culture is to frown upon dark-skinned people. It's been, it's been passed down to us by the Spaniards, by our colonizers, by the people that conquered us, taught us that dark skin is inferior, light skin is superior. We were taught that, it was passed down to us meaning it's part of our culture. We are culturally racist in this aspect. That doesn't mean I go out in the streets and want to hurt black people because they're black. Right, right. It means that our teaching, the way we're raised, is that we are raised to subconsciously believe that dark skin is inferior and light skin is superior. Another element in our Mexican culture is Univision News, Univision Channel. That channel is run by white Latinos. The ideologies and subliminal teachings that they teach is very similar to Fox News. My grandmother was visiting one day from Mexico. She's never lived in the United States. She has no idea what life is out here. She was watching Univision News where they depicted a black American committing a crime. She turned around and said, Oh yeah, estos negros solo estorban, verdad? Hey, these black folks, all they do is get in the way, huh? Here's the interesting part. She's never met a black person in her life. She has no idea what it's like to interact with a black person, but yet she already has an opinion about black people as a whole. Why? because part of our culture in this particular case Univision News since we were children we have been subliminally taught the blacks are bad criminals etc and this is what we already know a lot of these immigrants come from places that have an anti-black sentiment that are outright racist and some that just already have a negative view of black people before they get here they come here with these preconceived notions about us and they don't know the history they don't know what really has taken place here that has caused black people to be in the positions that we are in they don't care about that they are seeking something better for themselves which hey that's understandable you want to find somewhere better for yourself but don't come here speaking on things you have no clue about I think it's time out for us to be lumped in to the same category with immigrants or people that aren't from here when technically we really built this land. We were here before America was America. <laughs> I'm glad that he's speaking on this. A lot more people need to speak up about their people and check their people because a lot of times we hear people want to jump and speak up and they get in my mentions and comments 
when I'm responding to what other people are doing, what other groups are saying or doing towards us, they want to say I'm divisive. I need to see them in the comments of these people who are making divisive statements that are actively saying things like that's slave food. I'm not a slave. That's what happened on a video I did on Jim's eye view. There is a video of an African lady who the, the black American guy, he didn't want to date her. They were in some kind of speed dating. And so she begins to insult him saying he's, you know, that slave food. And I was never a slave. You don't even know who your grandparents were and all of this type of vitriol. And so when we fire back and say something, we're wrong. No, 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 no. It's time out for that. Check your people. Like he's checking his people. You check your people if, if that's you. Don't come checking everybody else that's that's getting tired of the foolishness. Check your own people that are creating the foolishness. Just like that guy, and I bring him up all the time. Um, now I forgot his name. The black African guy that was with the white girl and she stabbed him to death. And come to find out on Twitter, he was talking a lot of mess about black women. Then his family wanted to come in. Oh, please look past that. We need your help to get justice. I didn't see you in his comment section telling him to stop cooning, telling him to stop talking crazy about black Americans. But see, now when you need us, now you want to ask for help and you want us to be compassionate the black american community is tired of being used we are not here for your uh justice claims we're not here to advance you we would just like to ask people that are not from here stop speaking on our justice claim stop speaking on us if you have vitriol and you don't like us that's fine leave us alone <laughs> leave us and our business alone but we all know it's time out for all of that people of color and black and brown. There is no black and brown. We are not unified. We are specific groups with specific needs. We are not the same. We, we did not build this country from the ground up. We were not all slaves. They have their group. We have our group. Now, that's great. We can live together or whatever. We can live near each other. But at the same time, stop lumping us together. We are individual groups with individual needs and especially groups that have a culture of racism. How are we supposed to be lumped in with groups that hate us? Nobody likes black Americans. There's a lot of hell. All of the races seem to be culturally racist towards black Americans. So stop lumping us together. This is just another example of that. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button before you go. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, peace.